There are two main ways that voters get to weigh in on who they want the presidential candidates to be, either primaries or caucuses. Overwhelmingly, states and territories in the U.S. use primaries. Only a handful of states use caucuses. Primaries are pretty straightforward. They're very similar to how we vote in general elections. There's a statewide election, voters go to the polls, and they get to indicate on a secret ballot who they want the nominee to be. Those votes are then tallied up, and delegates are given to candidates accordingly. On the Democratic side, delegates are given out proportionally. So if a candidate gets 30% of the votes, they get 30% of the delegates. But there's a caveat. If you don't get at least 15% of the vote, you don't get any delegates. So 14% of the vote, no delegates for you. On the Republican side, it's largely winner take most. If the person who has the most votes in a given state only got 30% of the vote, they could still get all the delegates. And here's another important thing to remember about primaries. They can either be open or closed. If they're open, anybody in that state gets to cast a ballot. If they're closed, you have to be a member of that party in order to vote in that party's primary. Caucuses are a bit more complicated, and they're really nothing like the general election. They're basically like local party meetings that can take place in high school gymnasiums, for example. And they're only open to party members. Caucuses work differently in different states, but essentially there's a lot of haggling and debating and trying to convince other people to join your side. Let me give you an example of how this can play out. As I mentioned, in the Democratic primary, you have to get 15% of votes in order to win any delegates. In the caucuses, there are multiple rounds of voting. So if you don't have 15% support for your candidate in the first round of voting, you can try to convince supporters of other candidates to join your team in subsequent rounds of voting. Finally, after hours of wheeling and dealing on the caucus floor, a final vote is taken. And that's the vote that determines who gets delegates moving forward in the primary process. This may seem like a strange or old school way of doing things, and in fact, it is. Most states used to use caucuses, but now most states use primaries. However, the small number of states that still uses caucuses can have an outsized role in determining who the party nominees will be. In fact, some of the first states to vote, including Iowa and Nevada, still use caucuses. In the next episode, we'll look at just how important those early states can be in determining a party's nominee. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to 538 on YouTube and also check out the 538 Politics podcast where we're taking a deep dive into how the primary system works in the U.S.